hello and welcome back to my channel elucidate and today we are going to cover a very most important topic which is known as upcasting and downcasting in java so it is very important this is highly important and why i am saying that uh, guys uh, you know uh, there is a reason for that and that reason i would be covering at the end of this particular lecture and due to that particular reason i would like to you know uh, say that guys uh, you know uh, that uh, it's it's very painful for me to see that um you know uh, i'm really very sad when i heard about that particular thing so i'll uh, i'll just quickly cover this particular topic and then we'll discuss that particular thing right uh, you know that what has made me you know a little bit you know off the grid today uh, I'm, I'm feeling so i'll do that uh, in the end I'm just marking it over here so that I do not forget. I am very bad at keeping my memory, but yes, um, I'm surely I'm gonna discuss at this point of time today. At this time, it's around 11 p.m. First, uh, wrap up this particular section and then we'll talk about right because that is not much important. This lecture is more important. Okay, so guys, first we need to understand why upcasting is even required. So for that, I would like to open my own code from my last section right so over here there are two classes this is your parent class let me show you this there is one particular non-starting method over here and this is your child class it contains two non-starting methods starting methods cannot be overridden uh, i have uh, you know a deeply explained about this particular topic yesterday itself yesterday or day before yesterday right so there is you know a parent and child relationship between these two classes the parent class is known as parent and child class is known as child and it is extending the parent so there is some sort of inheritance involved over here right so and now moving forward onto this particular lecture okay so if we want to access only overridden methods in the child class right in that case we can go for upcasting this is the reason why upcasting is required. I don't know, you know, uh, I've seen a lot of videos, even myself, I, I watched when I was as a fresher. Um, I searched a lot of online forums. I went on to, you know, uh, different, different uh, platforms where people used to share their thoughts, their blogs. So much of technical, uh, technically complicated kind of things were written and mentioned over there, right? So th that is not even required. You just have to remember only one simple line. And the line says that if you want to access all your overridden, met overridden methods and if those overridden methods are present in the child class, then in that case, we can go for an upcasting. That is it. Which means that in my parent class, let's say there is a method named as Superman. Just don't only, you know, um, focus on only the words that I am saying. Do not think that what about this particular method. Only just listen at... To, to me at this point of time there is a method in the parent class which is a non-static kind of method which is named as superman and it says that superman uh, parent class superman can fly right there is a child class as well and this child class is also you know trying to override this particular method right so this is what is happening what will happen if i call this particular line what should happen allow me to just do that right so something should happen over here c1 dot superman if i'm calling superman method which method should be called over here parent class or child class ideally it should be a child class method right okay now if i run this particular line what should happen let's please answer me in the comment section in the mean line i will type it down over here p1 dot let's say superman okay now running that particular function what should happen p1 class p1 class uh, method is being getting to uh, called over here right but you know if i'm creating an object of this particular class child class and assigning it to to a parent class a reference variable of type p2 see words are very important over here we are creating an object of child class and assigning it to a parent parent a uh, parent class a reference variable p2 right so now if i do 
P2 let's say P2 dot Superman what could happen over here let's run it and see the child class Superman is being getting called over here right which means that we are able to access the overridden methods of the child class with the help of upcasting over here we have done an upcasting right please see over here what I've written if we want to access overridden methods in the child class then then in that case this upcasting becomes a very good kind candidate for us right so if we can do an upcasting create an object and assign it to you know an above class or you know a parent type class uh, class variable then it means that you are doing some sort of an upcasting right and with the help of upcasting you are also able to access all the overridden method but still at this point of time you won't be able to access any static method this has been very deeply explained on to my uh, you know uh, guys uh, last lecture why we cannot overwrite static methods in java right please have a look onto that i will not uh, you know uh, explain at this point of time because it will take a lot of time again to you know tell an entire concepts right so moving back over here all the non static methods you would be able to access with the help of upcasting right so first go through the theoretical part right why upcasting is done so that we can access the overridden methods in the child class that is it that is it you need to remember at this point of time secondly if we create an object of child class and try to store it in reference variable of type parent class so this is the way we try to do an upcasting as i showed you right now right parent p equals to new child creating an object or calling constructor of your current class or your child class and trying to store it into a reference variable of type parent right you are small and you are trying to store something onto a reference variable of type which is bigger than yourself so let's say you can do some sort of upcasting over here right and what are the rules there has to be inheritance and child class should have a method which has an which has overridden a method in the parent class right so it basically means that you know there has to be an overridden method and that too should be non-static method right so you need to understand this is very important this is very simple we have simply done an upcasting over here i hope you guys are able to understand now at least at this point of time so writing something into this particular form is known as upcasting again i am trying to spoon feed or sorry i should not use this particular term spoon feed because there are some guys who really do, do not know and i am really going to discuss that at the end of my lecture right but you know uh, if we try to write something i'm just talking in a very layman language if we try to write something in below format it will be called as upcasting okay Creating an object or calling a constructor of your child class and storing it onto a reference variable which is of type parent class right so if you try to do this it means that you are upcasting and why you are upcasting so that you are able to access the overridden method what method are you overriding there is only one method which you, are, you can override over here which is superman which is of non-static type and you have written child class superman can run and you know uh, you have simply uh, you are just calling it over here and see oh there is a lot of error my, my bad my bad see child class superman can run you are storing it into a parent class kind of variable but still you know it is being getting overridden so this is what all about how static and non-static method get overridden we have deeply discussed onto that but the lecture of says that you know how is upcasting done so why it is done so that you can access overridden methods how to do i have shown you and what are the rules that child class should have a method which has already overridden method in the parent class if that is not happening then there is you know uh, no need to do any sort of upcasting right so this so this was all about upcasting now quickly understand what downcasting is all about right so for downcasting first we'll try to understand the rule for downcasting first thing is that upcasting is required see upcasting should have been done over here right i hope this is clear the second thing if parent class reference variable if parent class reference variable 
contains an object of child class new basically whenever it is written it means that it is creating an object so if parent class reference variable is create is having an object of child class then that parent class reference variable that is p2 that is p2 can be converted to child class type of an object and how to do that we are going to convert this variable of type parent into child right so what what to do you how to do that i'm just showing to you let's say child c2 equals p2 if i do that of what it is written over here if can be converted to a child type child class type of an object right but it is not the way how it is converted right this is how it is being written that's why c should be in caps right so now this object which was having a you know a child type kind of object is now further converted into a child type of you know object right let's say of reference variable and why we have done that because now we want to access methods in the child class with the help of parent type of object see if an upcasting has been already been done right and if now you want to access the methods of the child class as well then for that downcasting is required if downcasting has not been done i'm just you know commenting it out you won't be able to access methods of child class that is let's say this is a method of child class rahul you cannot access rahul over here with the help of this parent kind of variable can you do that let me show you guys let me show you you won't be able to access right p2 dot rahul there is no rahul there is superman there is batman but there is no rahul so parent type of variable i am just using a layman language parent type of variable cannot access a child class type of you know uh, this method right of rahul which is of non static in nature so if you want to do that if you want to access methods of child class with the help of parent type of variable you need to do down casting this is it this is what line I, i hope you want to you guys wanted from from me right so if you want to access methods in the child class with that of parent type of an object or of reference variable you can go for downcasting for an upcasting if you want to access overridden method in the child class you can go for an upcasting but if you want to access all the methods of your child class with the help of parent class parent type of object you can go for a downcasting right and we want want to access behavior of child class this is very important why this is very important because let's say i am doing automation of you know 100, 100 test cases right and 50 of my test cases of are dependent upon this parent class right so 50 times i'm not going to create an object of child class i'll just try to use this downcast kind of method i can can i do that that is a question for you guys i hope i, I can do that and i hope i cannot even do that right so i'm just making you guys a little bit confused because uh, people are not asking questions valid questions right so i'm making you guys a uh, little bit confused over here i I'll, i will give the answer of this particular question in the next lecture um, if you guys simply comment it out so again so back to our lecture right So rules for downcasting: If parent class reference variable contains an object of child class, if parent class reference variable contains an object of child class, again I'm reiterating, then that variable can be converted into child class type of an object, right? And in that particular case, downcasting. And for that, first thing is that up case upcasting is required because if upcasting is not done, then how can you convert the variable of your parent into your child? I hope I have made some sort of sense. and this is normally required because sometimes it happens that you know we do not want to access or create an object of your child class we want to access everything with the help of this parent variable because it sometimes it is easier it may happen again i am not giving the exact answer i am making you guys a little bit confused because a little bit of research is required from your end as well okay so i would love to get the correct answer from you guys uh, 
but little bit of hint i have given over here but i have or i think i have made really sense what upcasting is all about what downcasting is all about so give me two more minutes to simply reiterate everything so why upcasting is required because let's say you have a particular child class and that child class is overriding some methods in your parent class upcasting is required simply tell the interviewer upcasting is required because child class is overriding methods of parent class so we are going to do upcasting then interviewer may say why your why then why downcasting is required downcasting is required only if an upcasting is done this would be your second answer and second thing if you want to access everything with the help of your parent uh, you know type of reference variable and if you want to access everything of your child class then downcasting is required can we do that yes we can do that right c over here now now c2 dot i would be able to call rahul see i am able to call rahul over here right and if i run it simply see child class around can run and i can also call non starting method because i am creating an object of child class let's say right this is just an object of kind of child class and with the help of this object i can call static and non static both and what is my non starting method over here please pay very careful attention some of my lectures are very important right so can i call batman c2 dot batman see it will give me the child class batman it is not going to give me the batman of parent class right if i do p2 dot batman p2 dot bat if i run it it will give me the parent class batman because it is a static method and static method cannot be overridden and they cannot be overridden because once a method has been declared as a static it means that it is common to entire class and once it is a common thing it cannot be you know motivated or tried to be changed for single variable for single method or for a simple class right this has been very deeply explained into one of my previous lecture and why i have written this thing over here because uh, recently i got a call from you know one of my uh, teammates uh, not teammates a junior guy and you know that person said that you know um, when 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 we are trying this particular line parent p2 equals new child so he was not able to understand the meaning of what it means right so i asked him then you were not able to understand the lecture that i have given on 19th of jan right so this is a lecture i gave on 20th of jan in which you know we are doing some sort of up casting and this is a lecture we tried to give you know some sort of type casting and i thought that you know um, you guys are able to understand what type casting is all about uh, so that was my bad so please let me know in the comment section if at any point of time you guys are not able to understand because if at the end of the lecture you are not able to understand what i have delivered with the help of so much of effort then you know this is the name of my uh, channel right and you know this is what the entire motto is all about to make something clear or explain right so this is the name and you know and, and if that is not working uh, i think then we are failing somewhere in our agenda so please let me know in the comment section if you are not really able to understand anything and and i would love to hear from you guys right so please do not feel shy it you can ask me even the most idiotic questions you have ever asked in your entire life thing okay so i would request you guys to look for at least now first watch this particular lecture and once this lecture is done please try to watch uh, this lecture and then this lecture then your concept would be clear because up casting is being done over here and some sort of type casting is being done over here and now try to correlate each and everything even then if you are not clear please let me know in the comment section okay so thank you for your time and thank you for your patience thanks a lot